This is the screen that our operators use when answering a phone call. As you can see, we'll use Manor Home Inspection. And you can see their customer name, address, main contact person, phone number, fax number, email address, as well as website. Also, some pertinent information that the customer has provided to us so that we can help answer some questions to some potential customers. He also has provided us with some pricing. And also here it shows his particular contact information, his name, title, his email address, daytime phone number, if there's a nighttime phone number, as well as cell phone number, and the actions to be taken whenever a customer calls. For this customer's particular actions, we can either take a message or we can book his appointment for him. This link here provides our operator with a link directly to a calendar that has been set up for him. It is a live calendar so you can see what appointments he has available and when he's booked such as time, time off, uh, meetings, basically everything that he has on his schedule. When a phone call comes in for a particular customer, what happens is you see how the customer changed. This is who the phone call is for, R.W. Fowler Plumbing, and this here tells us how the operator is to greet the caller as well as it also shows the phone number of who is calling and there's also an ongoing timer. From here, while speaking with the customer, we will be able to tell which contact the phone call is for. The operator would then select that contact, which brings up all that contact information, name, title, email address, daytime phone number, nighttime phone number, as well as cell phone number, and how he would like his calls taken, such as he would like a message. When the operator clicks on the message taking button, this is the screen that comes up. As you can see, it's an unknown caller, but the phone number did carry over. So from speaking with the customer, we found out her name is Joan, we confirmed the phone number, and now we're ready to take a message. The operator has an option of clicking on the message button. The message button just has some message defaults that the operator can use, such as hung up, please call back, returning your call, or wrong number. From here, the operator can type in a message that needs to be sent to this particular contact. We have typed in our message, please call back, regarding estimate. And all that's left to do is hit save and close. From there, the message is automatically sent according to the customer's request. When we set up a customer, we have several different options for message delivery. As you can see by this screen, these are the options that we have. We can email the message, we can fax the message, and we can text the message. We can do it immediately, daily, weekly, monthly. 
From clicking on daily, we can either do it every day, on weekdays only, at particular times. If you just want all the incoming calls or if you require outgoing calls as well, and any priority as we can do low, medium, and high priority messages. You can have it so that it does not send out a message if there is no message in the field. You can have it so it only sends out new messages. And we can also put it so that if there are no messages for that day, it either does not send anything or it sends a message saying that you have no messages for today. We can do it for several different periods if you just want to do it for messages received today or from the last 1 to 30 days. We can do messages in several different formats, such as text, HTML, PDF, and rich text. The most common one is text. And if you would like your messages also copied and sent to, say, your email as well as a text message to your phone, that can be set up here. Each contact can have their own separate message action. They're all individual and with this customer, they have their messages sent to them by text immediately as well as at the end of every day, they have a list emailed so that they have a copy of all their messages in case of callbacks or anything that they might have missed. As you can see, the software is very user friendly and the possibilities are endless. Any information that you provide to us, we will include in the notes so that when an operator answers a call, they can do it to the best of their ability and answer any questions that the customer may have. A good example of that is our customer, the Lion's Den Cleaning Service. We have here their pricing, forms of payment, company history, and a listing of frequently asked questions. This pretty much wraps up the demonstration of the NCALL software system that our operators use. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or concerns.